Welcome to Security 102. This is a, a follow-on to my previous uh, recording where we talked about how to set up data security to secure data between different locations. And uh, what we're going to talk about in this video is how data security and how location security affects content. Um, when you work with content and you start saving favorite content and favorite reports, then uh, how does the underlying data security playing with that. So I've logged in here as the administrator and uh, we have location security set up. What I'm going to start with is search for some content from Valley. So I'm going to return some tags from the Valley site and uh, let's just work with the, the default that is returned to me, but all of this is from Valley. So what happens when I go to save this? Well, by default, it's set to private. Right, so by default, this content is scoped to, to be private only to me, but I can change that and I can say, share it with my team. And then the system says, well, which team would you like to share it to? And if you expand this dropdown, you get the options presented to you. And basically it's giving you the options from uh, depending on who you are and depending on what the underlying data security allows you to do. Notice that I can't share it with Mountain because the data underneath this report is scoped to Valley. So I can only save this to, to Valley or further up in the hierarchy where I am personally allowed to see all the way to the top because I'm the administrator. So in this case, let's make this content specific to Valley. So secured content, Valley, secure to Valley. Okay. All right, let's create another piece of content. In this case, I'm going to look for that, look for look to compare the two sites. So I'm going to return some BOD data. I have two data points. One of them is coming from Mountain, and the other one is coming from Valley. And look what happens when I try to save this content. Okay, if I say share it with my team, it's no longer giving me the option to secure it to Valley or Mountain. I can only scope it to city water. And that's because I have got data from both uh, from both sites and I can't allow Valley people to view data from Mountain or vice versa. So in this case, the system has intelligently worked out the, the potential scopes that I can save it to that still keep the data secured as it's meant to be. So in this case, I'm going to secured content both sites like that. In this case, I'm going to save it up into the city water scope. Okay, great. Okay, so we've saved that content. I'm, I'm, just before I log out and log in again as that user, I'm going to show you just a little tip here. If you go to your manage content screen, we do show you what the, the security scope is of that content. So you can quickly get an overview of where the content is scoped to. Okay, so you can see the different security scopes and you can see here that I've got this, uh, the two pieces of content that I created before uh, going down to these locations. So that's an easy way for you to work out where content is, is going to uh, as an administrator. So let's log out from my administrator account and let's log in as the Valley user. So now I'm logging in as a standard user that's scoped to the Valley site. And uh, what I should expect here is that as that more restricted user, I can't see any content which is, which is not accessible to me. But have a look at this. Suddenly this popped up, which I didn't have before. And this is shared content created by the administrator, right? I can now see content that was created by someone higher up, but it's scoped uh, to the Valley site, which means that now as a Valley user, I can access it. But again, if we go to the manage content screen, right, you can see that I can't see that other one that was scoped to city water. I can't see the one that was comparing the two sites against each other. And that's because the information is sensitive. You know, it contained data from the mountain site, which I, don't have access to because I'm a simple Valley user and I can only see data from Valley. That's basically the gist of how things work. You know, you, you, you can control where the content is going to and which team you're sharing it with, 
but fundamentally you have to obey the underlying data security and you can't share content beyond what the underlying data allows you to do and that's built into the system automatically and it will keep you safe so that's it ladies and gentlemen thank you very much hopefully that gives you a, a pretty complete understanding between the video 101 and video 102 should give you a good understanding of how to set up data security and how to work with content in a secure situation. It is that simple. Thank you very much.